must be Janine Melnitz. Well, if I must, I must. Though all things considered, I'd rather be Meryl Streep. But then, wouldn't we all? Uh, wait a minute. Can we start this over again? I'm Cynthia Crawford with UBN News. I'm here to interview Dr. Peter Venkman. Oh, of course. He's waiting for you upstairs. Thank you. I'm sorry, but you can't go up there. But you just said... I know what I said, but you can't go up there. 30, 29, 28. Look, I don't know what your game is, but I'm a reporter. I have an interview with Dr. Venkman, and I'm going up there, all right? 13, 12, 11, 10. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? 4, 3, 2, 1! Now you can go upstairs. Nice one, Egon. I think you took out most of Bayonne with that one. Would you like to try for the Bronx this time? Hey, I was born in the Bronx. I'd say that was a good enough reason, wouldn't you? Ouch! You know, I wish you guys would figure out what this thing's supposed to be. If I'm going to be disintegrated, I'd at least like to know by what. Hello? Uh, hi. I I'm Cynthia Crawford with UBN News. You must be Dr. Peter Venkman. Well, if I must, I must. But I'd much rather be... If you don't mind, I've already driven off that bridge once already. Uh, can we go somewhere and talk? Sorry, gentlemen, but my public calls. Perhaps we can continue this later. Ta. And then in third grade, I got in a fight with this guy named Rick. Big guy, big muscles, brains of a trout. Dr. Venkman, when I said I wanted to do a pre-interview for a segment on the history of the Ghostbusters, this isn't quite what I had in mind. I mean, there's so much the public doesn't know about you. What you do in your spare time, where you came from. Not much to say. Raise homes in the Bronx. Make that was in the Bronx. <gasps> oh, no! And, and this must be Slimer. <laughs> Skip it, Slimer. She's heard it. Huh. And that's another thing. Isn't it a bit strange for a bunch of Ghostbusters to have a ghost living with them? Strange, weird, eccentric, sick. That about covers it. <clears throat> but there are some good reasons, some very, very good reasons why he's here. It all happened right after our biggest case. We just stopped Gozer the Gazarian from flattening the world, though too late to save our headquarters. No two ways about it, this place is a mess. Hey, no problem. We'll just fix the place up better than before, right? Oh, yeah, man. right, what sure, a piece of cake. The second order of business is to rebuild the containment grid so we'll have some place to put the ghosts. Whoa. This time, I think I'll make it bigger. Okay, Egon, I'll bite. What's the first thing we have to do? Get rid of our uniforms. They absorbed a frightening amount of psychokinetic energy during our battle with Gozer. They'll have to be destroyed. Hey, guys, huh? you're in luck. In all the confusion, I forgot to tell you. This came in just before you went up to fight Gozer. <laughs> it's your new uniforms. Great, huh? They'll do. I suggest you all change as quickly as possible. The sooner we're away from the PKE contamination, the better. That was where all the trouble started. We're not entirely sure what happened next, but here's what we pieced together. Transstator? Check. Field generator. Check. Ionization decay meter. Check. Plasmatic refractor. Anti-ectoplasm destruct mechanism. Bipolar adjuster. Check, check, and... <sighs> check. Transwarp drive. Check. Aha! Caught you. We don't have a transwarp drive. If we don't have one, then it can't malfunction. If it's not malfunctioning, then nothing's wrong. And if nothing's wrong, then it checks, right? I'm not going to talk to you again for at least a week. It's not good for me. Hey, don't make fun. This is how I got through college. By the way, Peter, did you remember to burn those old uniforms like I asked you? Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Gotta remember to take care of this stuff later.
We never figured how, but our uniforms with all that leftover ghost energy got stored next to the containment unit. Worse yet, there was one last crack in the containment field we hadn't found yet. Energy was seeping out steadily, and the old uniforms absorbed it. After a while, we forgot about it in the rush to rebuild the firehouse, but we had the strangest feeling. Like we were being watched. Then, finally, we found out who it was. Gentlemen, Janine, a toast. To our first night back in the firehouse. To the firehouse! To the firehouse! Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Food! So, who wants stuffing? What the heck is that? Can't be the plumbing, I just fixed it. Gentlemen, something's here. And it's right over there. It's him! It's the one who slimed me at the hotel! Get him! He's over here! Get him! Winston, you and Ray go after him. He's under Janine's desk. Egon and I'll get him if he tries to come upstairs. Check, check. There he is! Get him! We lost him! No problem. He'll show up again. Right, Egon? Probably. It's curious, though. When the containment unit exploded, he should have escaped with the rest of the ghosts. But he decided to stay here. Why? Free food? He wants another shot at me, that's all. Maybe he's just lonely. And you guys are the first people who ever paid any attention to him. Nah. Nah. Whatever the reason, we ended up seeing a lot of Slimer over the next few days. Naturally, we all reacted to Slimer in our own unique ways. My name is Dr. Egon Spengler. I'm a scientist. If you don't mind, I'd like to study you. You could be of tremendous use to science, since I can't study the other ghosts in the containment unit up close. Now, if you'll just open wide, this won't hurt a bit. Now, say ah. That, that will be all. Thank you. Crescent wrench. Crescent wrench. Ratchet. Ratchet. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Tea's up. Be right back. What? Screwdriver. Wait a minute. This isn't... Oh, hi there, little fella. You know, with a little training, I bet you could become a first-rate mechanic. Yeah, I'll bet I could train you to do all kinds of stuff. There he is, Ray. See? I told you. He tried to sneak up on me. Okay, where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd who go, Peter? You know, the green guy, the little spud, the, uh, whatever he is. Who? What? Where? 
Never mind, just keep your eyes open. That thing's a menace. You know, Peter's right. We need to give you a name. Just to annoy Peter, what say we call you Slimer? <laughs> What we didn't know, of course, was that there was an even bigger menace growing right beneath our noses. trying to get some sleep. I mean it, Peter. Cut it. Huh? Oh, guys, I think we've got no. trouble here. Big, big trouble. Uh, can't we talk this over? Move! Six.